Listener's point of view. You were in your deep slumber when you felt a finger poking your cheeks. Mm. You muttered, signing to the person beside you that you don't want to wake up just yet, knowing that the person poking your cheeks is Kilwa. After Kilwa heard you, mutter lazily. He chuckled as he once again pokes your cheeks, saying, <laughs> Get up already, sleepyhead. Kilwa then slowly opens the room's curtains. As the sunlight slowly reaches to the corners of the room, leaving not a single trace of darkness inside. No, my comfort zone has vanished. You exclaimed in your mind, being annoyed that sunshine has invaded your dark, comfy room. You then sigh as you slowly open your eyelids to see Kilwa crossing his arms and looks at you with a smile on his face. You got out of bed, then looked at the time on your phone. It's 7 a.m.? He woke me up this early? You thought as you decided to glare at him as if you're never going to forgive him. Kilwa looked at you cheekily. Hmm? What's with that face, dummy? As you can see, it's already 7 a.m. He says as he grabs your phone, showing that it's already 7 a.m. I know, which is why I'm annoyed right now. It's still 7 a.m., Kilwa. Why did you wake me up this early? You said as you continued to glare at him. I mean, who wouldn't be a bit annoyed when someone ruins your sweet dreams for you, right? <laughs> Just come on already. Get dressed. It's a good day today, and Khan invited us to his ice cream party. Kelwa says as he grabs your hand and leads you to the shower. Now, get your lazy butt in there and get ready. You stink. Bug. <laughs> Kilwa chuckled as he closes the shower doors, then finally gets out of your room. You were left speechless inside a shower. You thought of his last comment again. Then you exhaled deeply, finally cursing his name to the winds. A few minutes passed, and you finally got ready, then decided to meet up with Kilwa at the front door. Hey, did you eat breakfast already? Kilwa said with a worried expression, thinking that you either forgot to eat breakfast or skipped breakfast. No, I'll just eat some toast on the way. You answered, as you put your shoes on. That won't do. You heard. You glanced at Kilwa to see his serious face. What? You asked. I said that won't do. Kilwa replied. Get back in the kitchen and eat, dummy. Your stomach will feel uncomfortable if you eat ice cream without much food inside it. He added. Time skip to walking with Kilwa to the party. So, as I was saying, Gon put the cream in the microwave instead of the freezer. So the cream became melted ice cream instead of iced cream. <laughs> you both laugh 
as he walked towards Gon's place. When suddenly, a guy's rough shoulder bumps your shoulder as they walk by, making you lose your balance and trip. Listener, are you okay? Kyoa says as he helps you up. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. You said as you glare at the guy as they look back at you. The guy then turns his back at you and continues to walk away. You got up quickly as you walk fast towards him and tap his shoulder. Excuse me, sir, but I think you owe me an apology. You said as you cross your arms. Uh, I'm so sorry. Uh, uh, I, it's just that you look too cute. Uh, I mean, I didn't see you because you're short. W wait, no, I... The guy just kept stuttering that you couldn't understand a single word from him. When suddenly, you felt the temperature drop to zero degrees Celsius from your back. You glance at the person behind your back to see Kilwa's gaze at the guy, getting colder and sharper. It was a predator's gaze, thinking about how delicious their prey looks. You didn't dare to look at Kilwa behind you just by feeling the temperature drop like cold ice around you is enough to give you goosebumps and look away. However, the guy didn't stop talking at all. Kilwa's point of view. I listened as that stupid guy confesses his crush to my significant other. How come the listener didn't understand a single word he said? He clearly said that they were cute and beautiful. Tch, I don't like this guy. If he were an animal, I would have long gone slit his neck and roast him. In fact, he really is an animal, considering he didn't even bother to stop talking to the listener and pay attention to my hard gaze at him for a while now. Can't this guy take a hint? Or is he actually a real idiot? Tch. Look at me, damn it. I swear, once you look at me, I'll make you piss your pants. I mean, can't this guy have the common sense to tell that listener already has me? What's the point of confessing your love to them, you idiot? And plus, who even are you? I don't remember seeing him before, though. Also, listener, why aren't they stopping that guy? Tch, that's it. I'm stepping in. Listener's point of view. The guy just kept stuttering as drops of sweat could be seen from his forehead. You couldn't understand why he reacted like this when the only thing you ask from him is an apology. You wanted to cut him off already because you could feel that the person behind you didn't like the conversation. Well, I don't think you could call it a conversation. That guy isn't giving a room to talk at all. When suddenly, Kilwa interrupted the guy with a chuckle. <laughs> Listen up, idiot. My significant other over here only wanted you to apologize. Why are you acting like a stupid idiot all of a sudden? And what kind of an animal would confess their love on another person's significant other? Kilwa says as he walks slowly towards the guy who is now looking like he wants to run away but can't seem to move. Well, that reaction of his is understandable. Kilwa's cold eyes gaze would make anyone freeze like that. You, 
You were there significant, Utter? Uh, uh, I'm so sorry. Uh, I was just thinking nonsense. Uh, I got too, too carried away by my emotions. Uh, I'm sorry too, l- listener. Uh, I swear, I was too embarrassed to look back at you, so, so I walked away without apologizing. D- then I accidentally said weird things. The guy said, as he dared not to look at Kilma's cold eyes gaze. Are you sure that's all? Kilma says as he rests his hand on the guy's shoulder, acting all friendly. Yes, I'm sure. The guy trembled. All right then, you may go now. Kilma said, with a gentle smile on his face, like he didn't just give the guy the coldest gaze a minute ago. What a two-faced person. Creepy. He thought. Narrator's point of view, aka me. (laughs) The guy ran away as he pissed his pants, making people look at him like a miserable joke. I feel sorry for the guy, but whatever. Both Listener and Kilwa have arrived to Gon's melted ice cream party because he forgot that the ice creams are supposed to be at the freezer and not the microwave. Kurapika kept yelling at Gon like a parent, while Leorio kept selling melted ice creams for money. The end.